is Captain Firesteer, and in today's video, I'll be going over both these combatants to see who would win, more often than not, in an equal stats situation. Composite Link from Legend of Zelda versus Green Arrow from DC. So, if you guys are new to my channel, please leave a like, comment down below, and give me your thoughts throughout the video. Also, shouts to the Cough Shop Gang, their links will be in the description, they make great content. Also, shoutouts to the HQ Squad, they have been helping me in my videos recently, and shoutouts to Phoenix also for helping me with the Green Arrow section, much appreciated. But yeah, my supporting links will be in the description, Cash App, Patreon, all that jazz. So, if you're feeling generous, those links will be in the description. Now, lastly, I'd like to mention a few things. So, when it comes to Composite Link, I will only be mentioning things that are combat applicable or some or his stuff that he'd use more in character. I won't be mentioning every single item he has. Um, that anything that just wouldn't change the flow of the fight. So if I do miss out stuff, yeah, that's the reason why. I I personally deem it as like not really relevant. Yeah, just to give you guys a quick heads up. But yeah, let's get right into the meat and potatoes of things. I'm gonna go ahead, start off with Link and see what the hero of time brings to the table. So starting off, Link comes with his master sword, the sword of the sword of evil's bane. After being blessed by the goddess Hylia, the sword has gained the power to drive out evil, giving the sword holy properties. So it can pretty much destroy anything that's evil. Uh, it has like holy powers like holy magic. So it pretty much like negs anything like evil or demonic or anything of that nature, which is impressive. And it's also magical as well, the sword is. Uh, the sword can also charge up pure energy, and Link can perform an attack with the sword, which shoots out blasts of light to slice through objects. The sword can also absorb energy, and Link can also redirect that stored up energy from the Master Sword. Uh, Link's sword is also laced with magic, as mentioned. He can charge up his sword and perform a spin attack, where he spins in a circle to attack his enemies around him, shooting out a like an air, like an area of effect of magic. Uh, Link's sword can also reflect back projectiles when his sword hits it. He's demonstrated this against Ganon when he reflects back Ganon's like magic balls. So he's able to like just use his sword to like reflect it back, which is very impressive. Link also has his four swords, which brings forth three more links. The sword can summon clones, and the sword can also uh, fuse the swords together to create a giant sword, which BFRs its foes. Uh, Link also comes equipped with his Bigeron sword, which is a two-handed sword, which is uh, pretty long, has good range. So let's move on and talk about what the sword also does. So the sword has demonstrated to affect spirits, so it has some like spiritual uh, properties to it, so it can kill ghosts, which is very impressive. But yeah, that's going to round up most of the Master Sword, pretty much all its important like aspects of the sword. I'll pretty much talk more about other swords and move on to other, like, of what Link has in his gadgets and in his arsenal. So Link has his magical uh, ice rods, which shoot out ice, which freezes the opponent upon contact. And he also has his fire rod, which can melt down objects. Link also comes with his trusty bow and arrows. So Link has a variety of arrows, such as the shock arrows, which upon impact creates a giant area of effect that electrocutes nearby foes. His ancient arrow which upon contact completely erases uh, the foe and completely just gets rid of them upon impact which is very impressive. He also comes with his fire arrows which pretty much burn his foes, his bomb arrows for destruct for like more of a destructive and impactful explosive damage and he also has his signature light arrows with holy properties. The light arrows themselves are conceptual as they are able to affect Ganon in his true form. Ganon is hatred and malice incarnate and is the embodiment of pure evil which goes to show how potent the light arrows are. Link also comes equipped with his Hylian shield which is indestructible. All of Link's shields can also reflect back projectiles. Link also has his mirror shield which can store elemental attacks and blast out whatever elemental attack the shield has absorbed. He also has his sacred shield which deflects fire, electric and cursed attacks. And lastly, he has his cane of Brina, which gives Link a magical shield, but at the cost of draining his own magic to sustain the shield. Link also comes equipped with his hookshot and a longshot to get to places or tag his foes from a distance. He also has his slingshots, 
which lets him shoot out his seeds. These seeds also stun the opponent upon impact. And Link also carries his Deku Nuts, which also do the same thing. So as soon as those nuts explode, they flash like this blinding like flash they're kind of like flashbangs in a way so if if it tags you or tags something nearby it will stun you which is very impressive uh link also comes with his trusty boomerang which stuns his foes upon impact when thrown and his gale boomerang uh, which also blows things away link also carries bombs and a bomb chew which can navigate areas and detonate upon impact now moving on to link's magic so link can shoot out fire from his sword. Link can use Din's fire when he places his palm on the ground and a giant area of effect of fire shoots out. He can also apply his magic suit which reduces the damage he takes by half. He can use uh, Nairu's love which he summons a magic barrier that protects him and gives him immunity to damage for a short period of time. Uh, Daruk's grace creates a reflective barrier which reflects back attacks and lastly Link can also use Ubasa's fury to summon down lightning to smite his enemies. Now I'm gonna go ahead and talk about a little bit about the Triforce and then I'll move on to some of his masks but I won't talk about all of them. So Link has the Triforce of Courage and Wisdom. The Triforce is conceptual. It's been demonstrated to one shot true form Ganon who is the embodiment of pure evil and his hatred and malice, malice incarnate. So that's pretty impressive. For the masks Pretty much he has the Fierce Deity Mask, which is probably like the, the most important one. The Fierce Deity transforms Link into a powerful uh, being who can pretty much shoot out magic blasts from his sword. And he basically has unlimited magic in a way. It doesn't run out. He also has his Stone Mask, I believe, which makes him larger. And some other masks as well, um, like the Goron Mask, which turns him into a, a Goron. Um, and who basically just just a, a meathead muscle head he can also spin like the gorons too uh punches opponents to lift heavy objects but the other items in link's inventory in terms of the other masks they're pretty irrelevant because they're just not really combat applicable so that's gonna pretty much that's gonna round up link i'm gonna go ahead and talk about green arrow and see what he fires into battle and what he brings to the table also. So Oliver is stated to be the greatest archer in the world. He has really good hunting skills and superb hand-to-hand -hand combat. So in terms of skill, he was able to do pretty well against Deathstroke in direct combat, um, which is very impressive, even impressing Deathstroke in their battle too. So more onto his marksmanship. So he's demonstrated to shoot a mini force field device from far away. He's been able to hit the center of uh, Cupid's hand from the bottom of a dam. He was able to accurately shoot a vital spot like the heart. He can split his arrows in half by shooting it while simultaneously avoiding shooting a man above it, which is very impressive. Green Arrow is also demonstrated to repeatedly split his arrows in two with tendon damage in his hand from being impaled by Constantine Draken in both hands. So even when his hands are damaged or when he's dealing with type of types of injuries with his hands, he is still proficient. He still has his marksmanship and it doesn't wane when his hands are damaged, which is very impressive. Just goes to show uh, just the superb skill that Green Arrow has, even when compromised. Green Arrow also does very well when it comes to ricocheting his arrows. He can like rico ricochet multiple arrows off objects to accurately tag his opponents too. He's also demonstrated to throw a ripped off arrowhead into the barrel of Merlin's gun before he can pull the trigger showcasing these marksman sh marksmanship skills aren't limited to just a bow. He's also blatantly stated uh, to have better marksmanship than Deadshot which is absolutely insane because well Deadshot never misses as he states. And also another thing I want to mention as well like death like Deadshot could accurately shoot characters like Mr. Miracle off balance with his pinpoint shots too. Uh, Oliver is the greatest archer, Jansen, a monk who teaches archery has ever seen. Oliver's spiritual technique is also greater than he thought possible. His marksmanship is so good that it appears as if he's using aimbots. Last but not least, um, pretty much, he's also demonstrated even when in compromising situations. Uh, for example, when he fought Killer Frost uh, in a battle 
uh, Killer Frost was cre was like creating winds that move at 100 miles per hour. Literally, Oliver adjusts his aim so that the winds blow his arrow towards a lamppost to make it topple on her. That is absolutely insane. Even in harsh weather conditions, when Killer Frost is manipulating the winds, he is still able to use the environment to his fullest and land a, a consistent and also an accurate shot on an object which causes her to stop using her hacks because obviously she's going to get attacked so that's absolutely insane so moving on green arrow has really good endurance and pain tolerance he's been able to resist a load of different torture techniques over an extended period of time without budging or breaking so that's going to round up uh, that for green arrow i'm going to move on and talk about more about his bow and arrow so green arrow has a wide range of versatility in his disposal he's demonstrated with his arrows that he has a fire extinguisher arrow to gag etrigan with foam he also has a bolas arrow to restrain foes a grappling hook arrow he also has his uh, cryogenic arrows to freeze a whole room and even a bomb to prevent it from exploding at a sub-zero temperature he also has smoke bomb arrows to distort vision he also comes with electric arrows to incapacitate his foes and shock them he has his explosive arrows for explosive damage he has blunt arrows which combined with his accuracy allows him to incapacitate foes by hitting weak weak points like the spine he also has flashbang arrows for blindness aspirin arrows so basically these type of uh chemical arrows they're basically like laced with like gases so if that thing tags you or is near you it basically uh, gives off a nasty gas and then it just incapacitates you um, and also green arrow also carries like a gas mask gas mask as well to protect himself he also has tear gas arrows too Gl uh, glue arrow as well like the glue arrow is pretty built different it pretty much wraps a nasty fat like like load all over you so you're sticky and you can't get out he also has a, block, a boxing glove arrow as well. He also has EMP arrows to shut down machines. He also has sonic arrows to also incapacitate. And yeah, don't even bother trying to steal his arrows. Because if you touch his uh, quiver, it electrocutes you. Green Arrow also has his Kevlar armor, which protected him from Deathstroke's nerve toxin dart. And lastly, he also has incredible stealth. And he's even compared to a ninja. He's incredibly crafty as well creating his arrows from tech nearby or the environment he's got inc incredible senses of awareness targeting a man who the question who most who is most known for his deduction skills and lady shiva's senses didn't even notice and the question generally has a form of sixth sense so even precognition too so that's going to round up both combatants i'm going to go ahead break this fight down i'm going to talk about both sides how this fight could go down for both combatants in the equal stat situation so now link has a wide variety of objects and items in his disposal uh, he has his shields that can protect him he has his sword as well which has attack reflection properties both do the thing is that i think that green arrow has more often than not for advantages his shit accuracy quick draw he also has arguably even precognition and he can also target weak spots so he could pretty much pinpoint areas that link can't protect himself from especially if like link tries to put up the shield yeah uh green arrow could also split his arrows as well so they could basically force like force link to try and block other areas around him it could even overwhelm link's uh defense because there's too many like arrows coming towards him and targeting specific weak points so if link was to like even try to defend himself yeah he'd probably block an arrow or two but like one like another arrow would probably tag him too now granted it is equal stats however it also comes down to skill i think like green arrow is just vastly vastly above link in skill especially even in archery um and even like just general skill i think he's more skilled in that area so i think link would have a bit of a tough time having to deal with the arrows now if link resorts to some of his like arsenal for example let's say he tries to use the mask i don't think that's gonna pretty much occur because i think green arrow would be able to dispatch of that he'd actually just disarm link he'd be able to blast the uh, the fierce deity mask out of link's hand and in fact he could even disarm link if he's if link's not careful 
he could literally just like shoot an arrow cause link to like like lose his balance or even just like hit the sword as well which could also be a problem too link does have other objects in his disposal so he wouldn't be like completely out of luck so he'd still have like other objects too um but i do think that this fight's pretty close in my opinion it, it could go either way depending on how you argue it um if link is able to like let's say hypothetically speaking let's say uh he's able to stop the onslaught of arrows he has to deal with like a lot of um green arrows arsenal for example like the tear gas he'd probably have to deal with the sonic uh arrows like even if link is successful in blocking it you know that the the sonic arrows would be a problem too but if the shield does reflect uh, arrows as well green arrow has to also deal with those arrows too so that can also backfire on him but green arrow he's not gonna he's not stupid like if those arrows do get reflected back on him via like link striking back or uh, link using his shield green arrow just cancel those arrows out by shooting some more arrows to stop that too um but i do think that it just depends on what type of arrows that green arrow uh, resorts to um i think green arrow has a little bit more of an advantage in the fight especially since it's standard battle assumptions since this fight will be occurring in like new york city or central park like literally green arrow would be in his element he'd be able to like use the environment he just ricochet like arrows too to the point where it's like okay yeah link he'd be able to defend against some of them arguably but it'd be like he'd be overwhelmed by the sheer amount of arrows that are coming towards him like like link can't block everything and yeah even in equal stats yeah you could argue okay well you know link would have enough time to dodge but would he be skilled skilled enough to dodge those type of um specific arrows that are being fired in such a way in such a skillful way probably not he probably might be able to dodge a couple but n not all of them i just think like green arrows accuracy is just built different and if link gets like targeted in a vital vital spot for example if he gets tagged in the spine or a leg i think that pretty much cripple his defense and then green arrow just start like spamming more arrows and he could possibly just take out link that way um so that's like my argument for like how green arrow could take victory but if like link is able to like keep the defense as mentioned he's able to try and get in close or utilize some of his other gear too that could also pose a problem for green arrow i don't see what green arrow could do if link gets up close uh, now yes granted he does he's also skilled himself they're both skilled swordsmen swordsmen as well but i do think like if it came down to haxis i think link is a little more haxy with it as well so he has like a bunch of like hacks and magic too especially if he resorts to his magic i think that'd be a problem for like green arrow i think that one shot him if he's not careful now if we talk about like archery as well so let's say they both like use bow and arrows i think yeah i think link gets completely dominated if like link resorted to using his arrows uh green arrow is just more efficient more quicker if in terms of like instinctive reaction with his quick draw and with his precognition too so he just whip it out faster and he pretty much like shoot an arrow through link's head before he could do anything and yeah even if you argued like you know with the fairy like because that's another item that link does have the fairy could revive link too yeah it just happened again like he'd either get incapacitated or just killed again yeah i don't really see what link could do but i do think that one of the arrows for example like the light arrow I think that would arguably probably one shot um, Green Arrow if he gets it off. Um, you could possibly make arguments for some of Green Arrow's um, like arsenal to be conceptual too, possibly even hurting like uh, other characters and superheroes. But I think that that's one of like Link's like dangerous like arrows in his arsenal because that thing can like mess up like True Form Ganon. But more often than not, in my opinion. And for what I've seen, and the stats, and just the sheer skill, and just what, who could work with more often not the situation, I have to lean a little bit more so with Green Arrow. I think his skill, his marksmanship, is just a little bit too much for Link. Like, Link would have too much to deal with. His shield can't block everything. There's gonna be weak spots and holes, which 
Green Arrow would be able to exploit. And despite Link's impressive arsenal, um, which is very impressive, I just don't think that Link would be able to deal with such an onslaught of attacks of arrows. And even with the shield, let's say he reflects some of them as mentioned, he'd like, yeah, like Green Arrow just neck those arrows that are ref being reflect back at him. He'd just quickly uh, neutralize them and he'd just resort to ricochet and like arrow rains and stuff. But that's just my thoughts at least. I personally think Green Arrow takes it more often than not. But let me know what you guys think. It's very close. You could make arguments for both sides. But in my opinion, I have to lean a little bit more so with Green Arrow. But thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts. It's been real. I'll see you guys on the next one.